The disease is transmitted by blood transfusion, can be broadly divided as bacteria, viral, parasites. Bacterial infections, endogenous, bacteremius, persistent or transient, examples, Treponema pallidum causes syphilis, brucella, causes brucellosis, salmonella species, yersinia. Exogenous, due to contamination during collection, or processing of blood, examples, pseudomonas, carliforms. Syphilis, syphilis is a disease, that could be transmitted by transfusion of blood and plasma product. But blood stored at 4 degrees Celsius has a reduced the chances of transfusion of syphilis, the spirochetes are unlikely to survive for than few days under this conditions. But donor samples are tested for syphilis performing VDRL test. Viral, HIV 1 and 2, Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, Cytomegalovirus. HIV, HIV is a deadly disease that can be transmitted by transfusion through blood and blood components. Identification of HIV positive blood samples could be done in two stages. First a screening test is carried out. In the second stage the screening positive blood samples are tested by a confirmatory test. Viral hepatitis. Viral hepatitis is another very important pathological complication, which could be caused by blood transfusion. Post-transfusion hepatitis not associated with hepatitis B. Cytomegalovirus and Epstein-Barr virus are called non-A non-B hepatitis. Majority of non-A non-B has now been identified as hepatitis C. These diseases may exist in the carrier state in the blood donors without producing symptoms. The donor blood samples should be screened for hepatitis B as well as hepatitis C before transfusion. Parasites, malaria, plasmodium species, Toxoplasma gondii, visceral leishmaniasis. Malaria, malarial parasites are able to survive for days in stored blood, therefore malaria could be transmitted by a blood transfusion. For detection of malarial parasites blood film from donors are screened. Filaria, microfilariae can survive in stored blood for several weeks, but filaria rarely transmitted by blood transfusion. Prevention of transmission. Before the donor blood sample are stored for transfusion purposes all blood samples should be screened for HIV, Hepatitis B and C, Syphilis and Malaria. If found positive blood samples, should be discarded. Never transfuse blood samples found to be positive for above diseases even under extreme emergencies. If you are interested in my video creations, please subscribe us on YouTube, and feel free to give your comments.